the only compromise is yun nga mawawalan sila ng sure uh, late game scaling maliban kay Ling so nope they're gonna give outplayed a more comfortable hero a more traditional gold laner uh, especially in this current meta game specifically it's gonna be the Brody na medyo may sagot naman sa isang Saber, kung nagkakitaan sila. Again, I think that's what makes Brody so strong in this meta, no? Yung potential niya na sumagot sa mga mangda-dive sa kanya with that second skill. Wolf, after that Brody pickup on uh, Outplayed, anong chances nito? Uh, yeah. Are we seeing a lot of collapses on the gold lane? Papa yeah, for sure. Outplayed? Oh, for, for both teams. Uh, for Outplayed, uh, um, kumpara, dito sa, this is going to be 1-1 versus the Brody. Hindi ako, hindi yeah. ako piyansa na ma 1v1 yan sa bottom lane. Mm -hmm. This is still have Kukra, well, so pwedeng Mika to have Ruby. Imposible maging 1v1 yan. <laughs> hindi yan mapayapa. Walang mapayapa yeah. gold lane dito. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Specifically against the 1-1. One -one. Um, for sure, ang Omega dito inisip, never, wag natin bibigyan ng uh, proper timing itong 1-1 uh, one -one, kasi it, it will be a problem for them in the end. Kasi, although meron silang ways para i-burst down yung 1-1 one -one, courtesy of the Farsa tsaka nitong uh, thing, wala silang lockdown na, na reliable. The thing with Kufra is surely maganda siya pang uh, lockdown, pang, pang CC. Pero hindi siya ganun ka-reliable. May chance na pang ma-out ma, uh, dodge. Lalong lalo na kasi merong cleanse mechanic, may uh, anti-debuff mechanic at one time. Tignan natin kung ano mangyayari. Early game pa lang ba? Bakba ako na sa gold lane. Let's go into the match. This is game number three. Sudden death. An elimination is upon us. Next to Evos versus Omega. And here we see get your forward. Si, uh, ito Chuck, no? oh, pa agad. Level 1 si Chuck. Oh. Oh. And it's I like it. By the way, something na hindi pa natin masyado na mention. Si one one ay mas magkumanda na laning against squishy heroes dahil sa patch. It was months ago na. Pero ngayon na pwede siya manalo sa laning. Oh. oh no! Medyo nahirapan. Close could have punished on Cadenza, pero maka first blood dito si Eto Max. Na ginamit niya ng Purify niya. So, early on, especially before big team fights, okay lang naman. Pero that's a good start for next play Evos. Yeah, uh, amazing start even. Tapos yung top lane pa ay na naman sa niya yung Brody. That's why I felt, um, uh, Leo, mas maganda yata kung ipinar sa dalag ng Omega Esports yung top lane. So that, kasi yung laning stage naman ng isang Farsa, hindi naman siya ganun nerf. Kasi more on dun sa ultimate, yung nagkaroon ng problem, pulled out with this Farsa. And Brody versus the 1-1, one -one, like I said, posible maging 1v1 to. There will be an influence of the Rovers. But in a 2v2 setting, mukhang mas lalamang pa rin yung 1-1 one -one because of the the, the buffs earlier. Na, nabago kasi yung passive ni 1-1 one -one, na hindi na siya percent based yung bonus niya kapag meron ka mga weakness na, na, na the proc more on ano siya, raw damage na siya, which is more oh. effective on the laning stage particularly nerdy against low hp heroes katulad ng brody yep so kaya at minute 1 pa lang no kanina nakita nating lumang agad nang iingalo na oh. si outplayed laban kay donut so let's talk about the xp lane that's where people are here right now that's gonna be h2 threatening the triple sweep, the napakasakit. Lalo na full stacks kung tinatama ang pano shuriken send. Uh, extra basic attack here and there. Pero false engagement. Wait lang. Chak no. Chak mamba. Jumping down ato ka dendra. Popping. Propel and airstrike. Eto max. On the response. Neither team here confident to take the turtle. So medyo mga delay. Hindi chak clean two minute turtle. Ay may ang nahanap na. Next week mo sa Omega. By the way, naka inspire. Eto si Donut. That's why he is not a old man. Oh, 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 Grabe to. I can't, I, look at it, 2.4K. 2.4K in uh, 3 minutes. Ganon ka lang uh, uh, So ilan yun? 2.4K. GPM agad. 2.4K, parang bigyan mo, kunin mo yung farm ni Chaco mo at ni Ryzen, pagsamahin mo, ganon kalapit. Yung oh. isang farm ng isang hero on Donut. So, 
an amazing start for next week was in their gold lane baka maulit ang game one wolves parang ganun na parang the gold lane will buy time for the rest of the for, for even haze specifically lit baka ganun yung mangyari baka nga baka nga talaga now mega esports how they, will they fix this uh, ma- maganda na yung start agad para sa nxp but then again if you're looking at the overall gold Maganda naman para sa site ng Omega Esports. It's pretty decent. With uh, just a thousand gold deed para sa NXP was still much, very much doable in this game. However, si H2 meron ng Hemtasis. So, take advantage nila yung early snowball nila dito and they will keep on pummeling Omega Esports with this early game item choices para sa NXP. Ooh. NXP, the, the game's in their hands right now. For some reason, laban sa Omega, nakahanap sila ng paraan na kahit mahal yung lineup. Nagagawa nila ng paraan. Parang gets nila yung window sa Omega Esports eh. What about Omega huh? Esports? What about Omega? Anong kaya nilang gawin dito? Anong dapat nilang gawin? Mid- wait for the mid-game spike? Na- nawala na ba yung window nila na mag-dominate early? Well, for me, uh, kaya-kaya pa nila. Na- outplayed, go- went for Heptasis 2. So gusto nilang lumaban. Gusto nilang sumabay. Meron silang uh, na Dragon. Meron silang uh, uh, Yuzhong. And also another way para makapag-engage the property is this uh eto magsakto connection. Ito masakit talaga. Oh, wait lang. Toy na pad memory na beaten. Pero ayun, napa-overextend si Ryzen. He wanted to get that kill on Cadenza pero hindi niya nagawa. Tinalo siya ng tatlo. Welcome to the jungle sa Brunecle Evos. 3-0 lead. Hirap ang Omega Esports mag-engage. And it's gonna be a free turtle going over John Postalonga. Oh, wait, clown, no, not at all. And dito, that's gonna be a sandwich. See, we won. They bow it overextended that one one. Uh, then again, Yung Kim Kim Ryzen is a very unforgivable para sa side ng Omega Esports. So, plan na extend sila doon at nakahanda kasi yung triple sweep. Kudos to H2 for holding on to that ultimate in the right moment. No purify sa isang ning, wala rin siyang way para instantly matanggal yung stun na ng triple sweep. That's why nakuha na yung burst out. Isa pang hidden combo dito ng NXP EVOS is yung passive na makikita natin mula doon sa Saber na meron siyang bonus na um, armor penetration which also allows Donut to deal so much damage to anyone na makakapitan itong uh, Saber. And so far, hindi pa natin nakita umaariba si H2, ha? Namimili lang siya ng engagements niya. So, so far, what's led to this 3-1 lead, uh, and again, about 1,000 gold ahead, it's yung threat of activation pa lang. So, hindi pa to totoong uh, nangyayari yung effects dapat ng Saber and H2, pero ramdam na ng Omega Esports, so we can see how they move on the map. So, super exciting. How will Omega Esports recover? And we know them as the uh, team... As a team na puro na late game talaga, na masters of the late game. So, nag-iisip na sila ngayon. Na, they're trying to troubleshoot na dito, uh, Leo. Nag-iisip na sila ng ways para ibalik yung favor sa atin lahat. Ito na, conceal play mula kay Chakto. Ryzen nga lang malayo as well as ito pa. Oh, triple sweep underneath tier 1 up top. The burst onto H2. Tempest of Blade, don't match the dash. Ni H2. Si Donut pa rin makakuha with a crossbow. Hang! It's a double! Four! Donut, a triple for next play, Evos, walang sagot ang Omega. A very disconnected start sa Omega Esports. Yung chance of conceal play. Mayroon na doon si Ryzen, pero ang dami na sa NXP doon. They didn't have Farsa. I would have preferred ang Omega Esports na i-activate nila itong si Chapto with the uh, Farsa in there. By the way, ang ganda ng uh, decision doon na H2 na inayin si Brody. Atako nga siya ng triple shift kill. Eventually, he beat Donut. Two kills of the important heroes. Hero has been slain. Hero has been slain. Oh, the swing back. Wolf, naghanap ka ng bawe. And there you go. Kapitan Etomak serving it up right there. Right after we get back from the live, uh, from that replay. Uh, playing live right now. May bawe doon. Two for one though. Mahal pa rin. Binibigay pa rin nila si Chaknu. Pero, you know, you try to recover where you can. That's gonna be a free turret though, down bottom four, next play EVOS. Red team yep. turret has been destroyed! Economically speaking, mukhang nakakalamang ang NXP EVOS with two turrets. They have taken at overall, meron sila 2.3k uh, uh, na lead. But then again, that's the combo that you're looking for. Oh, that's enough damage. I wonder, oh, kasi may uh, tenacity. Uh, oh, actually, hindi siya naka-tenacity. But wonder kung naka-Athena shield na itong si Cadenza. That's why he was able to... He managed to survive that. Um, he dominates ice and just and the magic boots. Yeah, yeah, warrior boots. Tough boots, tough boots. 
on the way, on the way ang kanyang Athena Shield. So, um, again, next play Evos. They're so ahead. Next play Evos in control. Nagaharap sila dito. Death Bush not gonna look good for Omega Esports. Magre-retreat sila doon. Abang uh, sisimulan na itong 8-minute Lord. Lord at about a third of its health. Bumabound na rin si Koreshi, drawing a line between Next Play and Omega. No contest. Again, if you're ahead by what, 4,000 under 10 minutes, malinaw kung nasaan yung gold, malinaw kung nasaan yung lead. Looking at Koreshi here, not dying once, pero talagang offlane play. Yung ginagawa dito ng glue na ito. And of course, you have Donut sitting at 4-1-0. A dominant 1-1 na naka-inspire. Talagang all-in siya sa plano nila na magkaroon ng mid-game spike at yung early game spike yun. So far, it's going to be Oreshi on his own, just like me for now. But up top, it's going to be a hard push. Hindi malabo na baka umabot ang inhibitor ito. They haven't popped that uh, inhibitor shield feature, so baka ma-wipe pa itong wave na ito. And that's going to be a 5-man defense by Omega. And you're not going to let it happen. But that's a push down bottom. Two-thirds taken wow. single-handedly by Oreshi. Grab it. Uh, super off to see Oreshi. Zero, zero, zero. Oh. Wow! Donut. Wow! Ooh. One only! And just like that, our tinatrabaho ni Donut ay mga hero. Easy take down on the Chuck nung kamutikan pa. He outplayed doon. And just like that, they're gonna continue. There's a wave crashing down on top lane. They're gonna take down this inhibitor. Wait lang. Dragon form dito ni Renzio. Turn apart memory! Not enough stacks placed down on them. And they're gonna try to knock him up. There you go. Full spawn. They bow with the H2O. The saber is taken down. Better there, strike. Koresh is still alive. He's not going to be able to get him. Ryzen. They get two kills for none. And the boy is still alive. He's still alive. A clear win. Maybe it's time to fly for Omega Esports to come back. So pretty good that when they're going to Omega Esports, you can see the defense. However, Donut really flexing his muscles here. The command with a 1-1. Would have preferred na mas valuable pa yung kills, especially after using yung battle spell at yung ultimate, but it is what it is. Nice uh, defense coming out from Omega Esports and good punish. Hindi mo din talaga pwedeng i-deny na malupit it's rising. You see that Blue zigzag the movement na lalan sila ito kanyang pinakita doon on this link. And he's able to get the uh, valuable kills for his team and road to recovery para sa, syempre sa Omega Esports. But sa next play, they don't really need to panic whatsoever. Meron pa rin silang good late game. May one month pa rin sila. I love the fact that nag-rose gold meteor siya para meron siyang mm -hmm. defensa versus Omega Esports. Now, they are slowly uh, trying to slowly oh. getting into form. Sandwich play, they were looking for a counter engage, pero sila ang na sandwich ng next play Evos. Two free kills outplayed in the middle of three. And eventually, Chak nung hindi na yung barrage ng next play Evos. And that's going to be another threat of a push in mid. I don't think even Ryzen would dare fight Donut 1v1. 6-1-1. And you see yung uh, combo nung... Uh... Uh, one one pati yung itong uh, Saber. Look like hindi yung tank yung uh, chin red nila doon. Sobrang bilis. Like I said, the passive, which is armor penetration, para sa Saber, all stacks up together. Ganda na pagkaya sa rito doon kay Chakto din eventually the first down doon kay uh, Roti. Didn't even stand a chance against NXP Evos. At merong uh, Lord. Second Lord, na, na napakalinis na nakuha ng uh, next play Evos. True. Truly, um, take advantage of their lead. Gusto na, ang gusto natin din sa NXP Evos, eh, they're holding on. For sure, yung top lane, um, pwede siya mo siyang i-attribute as a stumble, but so far, everything that NXP Evos is doing right now makes total sense. Yep, and if anything, yung top lane, pwede mong sabihin, nag-decide sila na teamfight na lang para baka wreck tang ang finish. Eh. So, uh -oh. kita mong merong ambition, kita mong may plano. Yep, kitang mo yes. plano, but now I think yes. slowly but surely ang gusto ng gawin na next play Evos ulit. Uh, up ang lahat ng battle spells, up ang lahat ng ults, and it all comes down to this. Ang plano ng Omega Esports will take them here, sa ating base. Pero sa harap ng isang Luminous Lord, na may uh, sabihin natin enhanced attack into the turret, something's gotta give that inhibitor of top going. Red Team Face Turret has been destroyed! Grabe, ang ganda pagkaasabay-sabay ng lahat ng lanes ng NXP was looks beautiful. Yeah, they have taken your top lane, they're made your own. Sabay sabay ang pag, sabay sabay ang pagbasag. Pero again, you can never discount the clear 
on in fire sa kahit mahirap si Kapitan Eto Max 1, 2, and 3 um, ang daling buildan yeah. ng depensa ng Omega at in isip ka lang na isang magic defense and then all physical so it, 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 it's uh, tough to be Omega right now so um, maganda dito uh, I honestly thought na masyado maging feather girl strike pero naubos din pala na yung mga minions so they still can engage Na nanakaw the orange buff, that is a wild one which is buff right now, uh, na, na update siya. Then again, the fight's uh, just really just dancing between both teams. So I, I just want to say, yung uh, orange buff ngayon na nadagdagan ng uh, penetration, valid na siyang i-consider na ibigay sa mga gold laners in the latter portion of the game. And obviously, dahil lang ngayon yung XP ay sobrang ahead na ngayon at kinokontrol din na yung mapa, binigyan nila ng orange buff itong ating 1-1. Uh, Oh no! Dived underneath their inhibitor in mid. Renfield oh gonna fall. Ito Max gonna fall. Ryzen, hindi na pa. That's gonna be a double kill for Donuts. Ladies and gentlemen, this rivalry is close to coming to an end. Outplayed, may stock siya na natitira. Game 3 goes to next play, Evos Omega. Esports is eliminated from the National Team Selection Tournament. There's something today, Leo, that tells me na araw yata ng mga rookies and outplayed, showcased yung kanyang prowess with the 1-1. Second pit 1-1, going for Inspire. At ang ganda ng game, it was almost perfect. Ang ganda ng kanyang uh, selection coming out from uh, Donut. You can see, yung battle nitong gold laners natin na to all throughout the series was really good. But in the end, nag like, super 1-1 siya. Dun sa Hindi mapayapa. Hindi mo pa yapa at si at si Donat ang namayag pag yun ang nangyari don. Oh, I I can't believe that we're showcasing yung kadalang prowess dito. Like Donat and Outplayed, and I'm basically na nagduelo in this particular series, but in the end, this yung ang natin super one one ne. Lumipad na dun sa under the turret and was managed to reset and get a kill, di ba? And we know na dahil meron na siya nung orange buff na may added na na damage as well as mm. penetration dahil dun sa mga updates natin from the previous patch, maybe what, that was what, three weeks or uh, four weeks ago. At kitang-kita natin yung uh, bonus na damage yun in the latter portions of the game. Afterwards, na halos maliparan niya. If I'm not mistaken, Leo, apat o lima yung naultihan niya and then na-close out lang din ng NXP EVOS with that beautifully executed game.